Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you another Halo Mega Box review. This time reviewing the brand new Fire Team Taurus. This is a brand new Fire Team for the Halo line. Uh, it is set number CNG63, is 152 pieces and retails for around 10 to 15 pounds. So this set features four Spartans, some little terrain base plates, and the Wolf Spider turret. So going into the uh, figures specifically, we have a Soldier, a Warrior, a Recruit, and an Enforcer Spartan 4. Uh, these are all fantastic figures. Finally, in a military green colour, I'm happy with. Um, the Venom one was a bit too bright for me. Um, but, so I'm finally happy to have like a military-based kind of colour scheme. Very happy with this set. And finally, the Wolf Spider turret from Halo Reach. Absolutely brilliant. And let's take a look at the figures in a closer detail. So taking a look at the uh, Spartan Soldier first. Uh, a great looking figure. Based on the typical Spartan body. So he's super poseable. The armor's removable. Absolutely fantastic. No complaints here. He has some nice paint details on the pouches. On the gold visor in the black strip. Absolutely fantastic, no complaints here, love it. Uh, now these aren't unique to him, but as you can see pictured here is the Halo Reach based shotgun and a target designator. These weapons can all be swapped around obviously, it's just what I chose to give, give this guy. Um, but there's an example of two of the weapons that you're getting in the set and we'll take a look at the others as we move through the video. Now this is the Spartan Warrior from Halo 4 and Halo 5. Now this is the only brand new figure in this set. We hadn't had the uh, Warrior armor on the um, superposable bodies. Now we have and I'm so grateful because it's in the color and the uh, same loadout as my Spartan in multiplayer. So I'm so happy about this. It's pretty much my character. Um, but if, if it's not yours, it's still a great figure to pick up. Got some great sculpted detail, a great little gold visor in here no spill whatsoever brand new leg armor brand new arm armor it, it's all there it's a brilliant figure and it's good that we finally got a brand new spartan to add to the ranks instead of the typical spartan scout spartan enforcer that we've seen in these packs so far now as you can see he comes with the a newer sniper rifle which is based on the halo 4 design so this figure is really good um, fantastic, no complaints. As you can see, he has the weapon peg on his back that you can plug in the weapon. Um, brilliant, no complaints. Now, this is a Spartan recruit, again, from Halo 4 and 5. Um, we've seen this figure before in various colours in the previous fire teams, so not particularly exciting, although the green colour does look nice, Looks, it makes it look very military-esque. Fantastic, no complaints again. As you can see, it comes with a saw. Again, not a particularly exciting weapon because we've had that a lot in this line so far. Um, but definitely a great little figure. It's definitely not one to throw away for sure. So the final figure in the set is the Enforcer armor. Uh, we've seen this before, so it's not particularly exciting. But in the green color, again, it makes it look so nice and professional. You know, very military based. Pretty much like the Chief, you know. We, we all like the green Spartan armor. If you've noticed though, I've given him the Halo 5 rocket launcher that came with this set. Now this is a brand new sculpted piece. Um, it comes with a few of the fall line sets, but here let's take a closer look at it. So as you can see, it is pretty much just a black tube. Rocket comes out one side, you've got the two grips for the Spartan, which is great because we've not had a proper two-handed grip rocket launcher. Like It's been sculpted on there, but it's not been properly shaped to be gripped correctly. Now, if we turn it over, you also have a little slot here for a weapons peg so it can plug into a Spartan's back if you don't want to use it. But altogether, it's a great little new weapon. Um, it's pretty unique versus the uh, previous rocket launcher, so I highly recommended that you equip this on some of your favourite Spartans. Now, taking a closer look at the rest of this set, you get a nice little terrain base plate with some little tree and a little bush. Great little piece, it, you know, it adds to it. You can put, pose a sniper shooting between the bushes. Great little piece. I appreciate these because it just makes a diorama look so much better. So, you can even plug figures onto it. Because, funnily enough, the figures don't come with display stands in this set. The other fire teams do, but this one doesn't. So, you might need to plug them onto that. Or find yourself some more display stands like I did. 
Now, if we take a look at the next piece, another terrain piece, uses the same base as the last one, but we get a black fusion core, which looks absolutely fantastic. Never seen it in black before, it looks really, really cool. And the uh, trademark fire team flag, which this time has a bull on it, because this is fire team Taurus. So that can be pulled off, put in a figure's hand. Another nice piece. So let's move on to the next bit, which is my favorite piece of this set. And it is the Wolf Spider Turret from Halo Reach. Now, as you may remember, this protects Halsey's lab in the closing elements of Halo Reach. Uh, basically, you can activate four of these, and they will protect the base from Banshees, Wraiths, etc. Um, and then they get destroyed, and you can just rebuild them every now and again. Um, great little piece. I'm glad that they have added these to the line. Um, it's so detailed, and it just adds some extra bonus features to a base display or whatever however you display your figures it's great having a turret next to them to back them all up it just looks really good having it there you have a nice printed control console screen here it says it's unlocked which means this is active uh, you get a UNSC logo on it funny enough the Halo 4 logo not the Halo Reach one but I'm not, I'm not going to complain when it's such a good piece now the turret can pose up and down when I don't affect the lid as you can see it moves up and down the lid does close and I'll get into that later um, and the armor plates can rotate on it as you can see now if you rotate all these upwards and you fold the gun down as so it then closes and you have a deactivated turret and that is exactly how they look in game so again absolutely fantastic that they've done this no complaints at all really high detailed piece love it Definitely, definitely worth picking up a few of these if you can. It'll make any display look fantastic. So overall, you have a great little fire team here. You get some great figures, a brand new sculpted Spartan, a great little display uh, piece with the turret and some little de terrain base plates. So win-win here. Absolutely fantastic. You're getting a great little set. Instant little army builder for you. Absolutely fantastic. So if you see these, I'd recommend definitely picking up at least one or if you want a few of the turrets try and get a few more they look so good so that's it for this review i hope you've enjoyed it we will be reviewing more halo mega uh some more call of duty more assassin's creed in the coming weeks so stay tuned for that um and basically that's it so don't forget to like favorite and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video bye